got a meeting today with Kirsty. We're gonna brainstorm what we're gonna do going forward, what's gonna help her with her business and her online, her online presence. Just yeah, talking about content and I'm getting my hair done in a week's time. We're gonna film it. I'm gonna make myself look half decent because I haven't for the past week. I've had my Dyson Air Wrap for quite a while. I've always been a bit apprehensive to use the curling bit. I've always used the brush. Well, actually I use the nozzle to just rough dry my hair and then I'll like just smooth it out. It ends up looking just quite sleek, a little bit wavy, healthy hair. It looks like healthy hair, but I'm going to give this curling nozzle a go because I've seen Helen's hair and she uses this and her curls look really, really nice. She uses the skinnier one. I'm gonna use the bigger one because I have recently used the skinnier one and I feel like the curls are a bit too curly. If I use this one, it might just be like still curly and got some body, but not as intense. We shall see. <laughs> like something out of the Brady Bunch. I don't really know what it's doing, but it's better than what it was. Uh, I, my hair just, just needs to get done and I cannot wait. It just doesn't have a style. Um, I've kind of got these bits here, but I think they need to be shorter and more swishy. I don't, I don't know. Um, but once I sleep on it and it'll just, it'll just do its thing. I'm so used to having it up in, in a ponytail and going to the gym that that's what I've just come accustomed to. So doing something with it. But I did my hair for Kirsty because she's a hairdresser and I wanted her to, to look at it to see what um, she's actually fully dealing with next week. But I don't think it would have helped anyway because she's gonna do what she's gonna do and she knows her stuff. But it's more like I was showing her last time that when I got my hair bleached, it just didn't, it didn't pull the color up or the toner didn't take to the side bits. Um, because it wasn't bleached enough. Kirsty cancelled, but all is all is okay. I'm still gonna go into the city. I'm still gonna just be on it today. I'm not gonna fester at home because I did loads of stuff yesterday. Ticked a load of boxes, great. But today I need to sort out my work week. Uh, I am working for Helen tomorrow and a bit of Thursday. So today I'm just gonna give myself the opportunity to figure out what I can finish off I didn't get done Thursday afternoon and then Friday and just get organized. Hello friends. I am now going out into the city. A podcast is on for the girls. Seriously, I can't seem to get this fake tan right. They're in there having a jolly good time. And um, Andrew sorted my car out this morning because someone hit it. He's come back with this. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, you know, what a beauty. I mean, this is disgusting. Very nice, very nice. Stopping a pussy. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh my God. Why is it doing that? Oh, that's not 360. That's no, each sensor. When I, when I was driving into the drive, it looked at uh, from above, so I could see the pillars either side. Oh, we need this car range. Yeah, I think all cars do this now. So Andrew refused to take a picture of me in front of the car. Refused. Why didn't you? Because he thought I'd be materialistic, but my jumper was matching the car, my nails had matched the car, and I said it was for Millie. So then he caved, because we love BMWs. I sent her pictures. Lol. We were at cafe number 33, having a brunch. Been relatively successful. I was looking at the cake, but I think I'm going to pass this occasion. <laughs> I don't really know what to tell you if I'm honest. 
I'm sure my face can probably give you some idea. So it's pancake day yesterday. I was really just not very well yesterday. Every time I ate, like, I, th I was okay when I woke up yesterday morning. Felt like a really sore and like crampy pains and like just constant, f the constant feeling of like wanting to be sick, like that pressure. Um, but I thought nothing of it. And then I was gonna, you know, meet up with Kirsty and everything like that, but she cancelled, which was fine. She wasn't very well. Went into the city anyway, went and had a bit of food. Like an hour after eating food, I got really, really horrible cramps. When I got home, I was just drinking lots of water, like so much water, and it seemed to have helped to some degree. Then Helen came over and we were gonna have this big extravaganza of pancakes and like fajitas and all that. I didn't vlog because I wanted to just spend time with Helen. I hadn't seen her for like a week and just kind of chill out. And I felt a bit off anyway. And then we had the fajitas and then almost, again, it was like an hour after, I felt really unwell. They did the whole pancakes thing and I um, I just stayed on the sofa. Had problems uploading my vlog anyway, so I was kind of like beside my laptop, but had blanket over me with like a cushion and was just like, just like not feeling right. And then as soon as she left, I was like, I was upstairs with a hot water bottle, like trying to sleep and just like recover. And then it's today, it's quarter past one and I've just got out of bed. I still feel like I could just still be in bed and try and just like not move. But I want to get up. I don't want to cancel on Helen tomorrow. Like another day not working with her because I know that she's got bits to get done. So that's why I'm up trying to move around. I'm going to try and eat something. I had like a really dry piece of toast when I woke up this morning to try and like make myself feel better so that I could go and meet up with Helen but I had to cancel in the end. And I felt okay after that. Not brilliant. I just feel like I just can't move and I'm just... Every time I move, my stomach is just really sore. So I'm gonna get back on the water again. Let me just show you what the kitchen looks like. I fell asleep with my makeup on as well, so that's why it also looked horrific. It could be worse, but they obviously were doing lemon pancakes. Of lemons, there's bananas there. I was so desperate to have a peanut butter and banana one, but I just, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna do it. So I see I'm gonna have to deal with this because I'm sure that if I get this done, that'll make me feel a bit better. We'll see. Come on, have it, Angel. My next thing, and what I need to get done, is sorting all my medication out for the week. Balls. I'm sitting by my back door and admiring it. It's been a very productive day today. I've got the worst headache and debating whether to go to PT, not PT, although I really do need to book in a PT. <laughs> um, go to boot camp tonight because it's strength session, which isn't like a hardcore boot camp. And it just means I get out of the house and I exercise, which might lift my mood because my chest is so tight, which I feel like I've got anxiety now for just being unwell. and my head just feels so heavy, like... Right, let's go. So I'm off to boot camp and I'm running a little bit late. Still got a massive headache, but I've got 15 minutes to get there, I reckon I can do it. Got my Invisalign in as well, which I've been doing an Invisalign for three years because I've been really lazy with my trays. I might be a bit lispy. I had to cut, uh, cut the last four. Normally I have two, but I was like, mm, I'm feeling quite hungry now. So I'm gonna have three. And then I've cut one in half to cool it down. Then the girls are gonna have it with their dinner because they're really fussy. If I put something interesting on top, they'll eat it. So I'm gonna chow this down. I popped some Prosecco for my Wednesday night dinner and it was Prosecco that Kat got us with some chocolates for looking after Blue. And if that's the case going forward, I'll have him whenever. My dinner's been all right. The sausages are severely burnt, but they're fine. Someone is happy to eat them for me, but I'm still quite hungry, but I've got pancakes as well afterwards because I didn't have them yesterday and I felt a bit left out. Having a lovely drink, an alright dinner, and just hopping about. <laughs> and I'm gonna have some pancakes. This is lovely. Really easy to drink. Luna! 
she's going out as well, okay. What's happening? Bye. Take 364. I think it's important that we talk about mental health, um, especially what's been going on in the media at the moment. So much that I actually messaged the girl group chat going, this is the best vibrator I've ever owned. See, as long as just sit on your nose. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best vibrator I've ever owned. <laughs> it I, is! I thought this was a good opportunity to whip my camera out. <laughs> it is. Because it's the makeup now. <laughs> Put it on your nose. Just helped myself to a load of Helen's makeup. I've gone a little bit nuts on my eyebrows. Uh, and her foundation doesn't match my fake tan. So I've improvised a little bit and uh, feel a bit refreshed to now go out and have some dinner. Feel a little bit less haggard. Yeah, it's not that bad in real life. Rise and shine, rise and shine. Where's Angela? Angela. You like Angela, don't you? Someone that can play with you because Luna doesn't like playing with you because she's an old lady. Hey, Ange. No going into the dog bed, please. Because all you do is you go in there and you take a massive piss. Oh, Ange. No, gently. No, gently. No, no. You just want to play. Yesterday was fun, like a proper catch up with Helen when I'm not feeling so horrendous. However, when I got back from Nando's, I went upstairs, I put my laptop, no, my, my iPad on and watched like Netflix and I just fell asleep. So I've officially slept for 12 hours and I think I needed it, but I've woken up still just feeling really sick like chesty sick and I'm really gutted that I haven't like thrown myself into boot camp this week but I've had a bit of a dodgy knee and I think resting it has helped so I'm ready to tackle boot camp heavy next week can't do it tomorrow because I'm getting my eyelashes done thank the lord because look how this has been almost a month but uh, Maria who does it is just superb we booked our appointments in because she's like so high high on demand we've done appointments up until april and i'm noticing like your eyelash uh, your eyelashes have like a natural shedding period and i think that's what i've been experiencing because i don't you know i don't do this and pick them off like my mum would do she's awful but some of them have just been like dying to come off and then poking into my eye and then like shedding so they are a bit a bit sad at the moment but they're not as bad as the ones i used to get done back down in kent where she glued six eyelashes onto what onto like one eyelash and they like connected onto other ones so when the eyelash was like growing out and wanting to shed it was sticking in my eye but wouldn't come out because it was connected to so many others whereas what maria does is i mean you can't see where they're stuck on where whereas the ones before i had you could see all the black glue she's just perfection so it'd be fun to show you tomorrow how she does it and the before and after because my eyelash is gonna look so good so good what am I gonna do today, eh? More work in my pajamas, I think. And tonight, we're doing a games night at Helen's, which is gonna be good. She wants to cook enchiladas with Mexican rice, and I'm not sure how my stomach's gonna agree with that, especially with how sick I'm feeling. You go near my fig, little Ange. We are gonna have issues. I'm not the only one out there that likes the fake tan. This is normal for, for us fake tannies. I've got no makeup on. My skin's looking all right, you know. I mean, I fell asleep in my makeup, but I've just washed it. I just wanted to come downstairs and have spend some time with my animals. They're having like a stare off. Angela! Lena doesn't care for it. She just, she's like Lola. They just keep themselves to themselves. Bad time with us. You didn't say that. I said you look lovely. And what have you just done? Oh, I said that Helen was here to pick us up, but she's not. Just so we could get down on time. So we could leave on time. Can't do that with everything over now. Can you fix my earring then? Have you got time to fix my earring? You got time? Yeah. Gotcha. What were you doing now, Andrew? Acting out blockbuster videos. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have to drink some. <laughs> So they're my three, why are you staring at them, you fucking bitch? <laughs> oh, these are all fucking <laughs> easy. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you ready? No. Alright, I'm gonna act this one. Chris, 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 stand by me. Okay. Chris, Chris, stand by me. I'm standing by you. That was that's good enough for me. Play <laughs> <laughs> that song again. Alright. Alright, I'm act I'm one word, right? But I'm just setting the scene here. Here's my shells. I've got one, two here, but I'm gonna put a gun. On the third shelf, fourth shelf, top shelf. <laughs> We're now on to Professor Ross, the games are over. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You literally look like you just been eating your bowl. <laughs> it's all over my face. Yeah. So I've just finished having my eyelashes done. I just look so much better. She is, she's a hero. I mean, look at them. They're just beautiful. And Andrew's nipped into Tesco and I refused to go in because I wanted to go to Aldi, which has my favorite snacks there. And I didn't want to walk, so. I'm sitting here in my little heated seat in this lovely courtesy car, watching like YouTube videos. Hopefully it's not going to be too long. I was going to vlog getting my eyelashes done, but I was running late and from last night I'm really hungover. Like I had such a good time and I never drink. And when Danny came around the other week with Baker, I had a rum and coke and I haven't had a rum and coke in years. Really enjoyed it. So Helen was like, oh, what drink shall I get? You know, what 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 other bitch shall I get? And I went, oh, speaking of, speaking of drinks, can we have rum and coke? I really love rum and coke. She did her, her margaritas and stuff, but I ended up having like six rum and cokes couldn't feel my hands but had a great time but i've woken up this morning very sick and I'm a bit of a headache so it was a bit frantic going to my lovely lash lady and it was pissing it down andrew had to drop me off and i left my vlogging camera in the car what have i got in for today um i've got so it's my sister's 30th next week and i've got uh, someone looking after the dogs because i'm going back down south to see my sister she's having a bit of a bit of a weekend of celebrating her 30th so I'm getting Angela looked after and I'm getting the dogs looked after so they don't come down with us and it's all chaotic so I'm meeting the girl today who's gonna look after the dogs that weekend just so like I, I know her the girls can meet her and it's just a bit more comfortable and that's literally all I have to do today meet her and probably just gonna do some cleaning downstairs and probably eat a load of food watch the super vet I'm just taking it chilled Good morning, it's Sunday. Yay. I've slept for about another 12 hours. My knee doesn't hurt anymore. My tummy doesn't hurt anymore. And I've put, well, we've put Maleficent on the new one because this weekend only, it's, um, it's 2 dollars to rent. So that's what we've decided to do. We're gonna have a big breakfast this morning. I was thinking at Pets at Home up the road, they're having a party this weekend. Yeah. because they've had a refurbishment so i was thinking we could walk the girls up there maybe have a little a peruse yeah but see what the party's all about i saw it on facebook and i said i was interested in going is it is it a party or is it just going to be a lady like handing dog treats out the front <laughs> probably no it's the middle section where they've got rabbits and stuff now because we're going to get another rabbit and we're going to get we're a boy another rabbit bollocks anyway we're going to continue watching this film um i'll show you our washing situation because that's on the agenda today can I just zoom in because I can't be bothered to get up? There we go. That's all our washing that we need to deal with because Andrew puts his washing, he put, puts clothes on and then he puts them in the wash straight after, don't you? No, that's a lie actually. I don't think it is. It is. Mm, no. It is. Should we go through it? No, because you're probably right. <laughs> Number one. Me. You're number one. I am. Number two and number one. And number three. Let's go. Hello, Angela. Lunch. Oh. Got some dog tags sorted for the girls because they're staying with someone. Can you not do it? 
They don't care for it. She just wants to leave. We'll see Angela. I mean, that's really tight as well. Oh, do you, do you think we should have gotten the, the bigger one? Like, that doesn't fit. Does it not fit? Nope. That fits her, right? She hasn't got a chubby neck. Well, I mean, she yeah, doesn't. Yeah, no, that's fine now. Yeah? You just have to, like, push down the rolls before you do it. <laughs> Mrs. Turkey neck. We're going to do kikis. <laughs> and it's home time. Bye, Angela. So what's your review on the pup party? Well, Just lie and say it was good. There was no party to start with. <laughs> I thought everyone was very helpful. Oh yeah, but that, but that doesn't change. So do you think it was worth the walk? Was it worth the walk and worth 50 quid? Well, they needed the collars anyway. That's true. And uh, we had the name tags oh wrong. God, what's wrong with this? Yeah, well she's a chunky monkey. We're currently at BP getting some snacks on the way home. The girls are now interested in in the pets at home. Pupcakes. Pupcakes. Oh, that yummy. Want some more? Good girl, Kiki. It's basically just stale bread. Mmm. Yum. Luna, is that yummies? Good girl. Look, she's had it all now. Kiki bear. Another disappointing shot. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. What did you get? Why was it disappointing? They didn't have any good biscuits. Did you just, oh, creams. Andrew, you can't have chocolate milk. Yeah, you get the shit. I'm going to get the biscuit. Look, they didn't like the top ones. No? No one this one? Oh, biscuits. There was no needing to convince Andrew to watch Hannah Montana. You excited? Angela, it's happening. No, I reckon you're gonna sit here, you're gonna watch it and you're really gonna enjoy it. A nice relaxing Sunday evening. I've just got ready for lunchtime boot camp. Andrew's coming with me and we're gonna go to Wex afterwards and change over a lens. And I let Angela have a little run around this morning. Gave her a bit of banana. The girls slept with us last night. So yeah, we're also really tired because they go under the covers, get too hot, then they come on top of the bed and then they spread out and then they get too cold and then oh, a bit annoying. So they're having a bit of chill time and they're great. We're not gonna be too long. And then this evening, I am meeting a lady uh, who's gonna look after Angela this weekend as it's my sister's 30th and we shall see how we get on and whether she likes Angela. I was gonna bring Angela, but I think it's gonna stress her out, like putting her in the little carry case, then into the car, then out of her carry case, then back into the carry case, then back into the car. Um, it's okay if it's like for the vets, but. Are you ready, fatty? We're gonna go. Do you need Yeah. Disgusting. I'm sorry. My brother calls him Chubbs to Must Prime. He's not Chubbs. Let's get bits, bitch. Doesn't look that scary. And here we are, half past eight in the evening and I forgot to vlog some stuff I couldn't vlog because other people were kind of involved and I just didn't want to whack my camera out and then make people feel uncomfortable. So after boot camp, we went to Wex and Andrew changed over a lens, which we will be using tomorrow when I'm filming my hair change. Watch the next weekly vlog because you'll see my hair a completely different color or just follow me on Instagram and you'll probably see it before then. Who doesn't want to see the whole process happen? It will be <laughs> presented on here. 
documented on here. You went and did a talk at, at some college no, last they minute. They make it sound official. They make it sound like I've been booked in months and months in advance. I was working out, working on the physique that's buried deep. And I get a private message from Helen asking whether I could come and help her out at all. She was doing it for industry week. Which I obliged, as any good friend would. And uh, that was it, basically. You did very, very well. You are very Mr. Talk a lot. Mr. Ramble, I call Waffle. you. Mr. Waffle. I waffle on. No, you didn't come across rude at all. I, I felt like your annoying little side piece that would just butt in every now and then because. I sat in on the talk as well, but it was really interesting to hear him talk about what he's done, but irritated me the stuff that he missed out. So I kind of butted in and said, hang on a second, don't downplay it. Talk about you doing this and when you did this. And there was like 10 kids there listening. I just hope that he's helped some people. I'm sure, Hel I mean, Helen teaches anyway. She obviously helps them on a weekly basis, but for Andrew to go in and speak was, was quite cool. He's offered to help some kids there if they're they're looking to branch out and do other things alongside what we're, what they're doing still related to music and the industry. We'll see if there's dedicated kids out there that want to take and drop on that offer. And then what else did we do? We came home. You played around with your lens had some phone calls and then I did take Angela to meet lovely Katie who is going to be looking after Angela this weekend for my sister's 30th and her and her family are just insane they are just fire breathing zookeepers not even a joke not even a joke they're so lovely 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 people and I don't mean to, sh to shit on people that live down south but <laughs> 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 But I've really enjoyed coming out of my comfort zone and moving up to Norwich and forcing myself to meet people. Obviously, I'm not forcing myself to meet people, but I've really enjoyed coming out of my comfort zone and meeting people and finding out that they're bloody insane and then building a relationship like the woman that we met on Saturday that's gonna be looking after the dogs whilst we're away this weekend and when we're in Florida in May. She's just incredible, really, really lovely. And then tonight we walk into a, a, a house of a family that's just so bloody lovely. So Norfolk, I love it. They have snakes. <laughs> They've had owls. What else have they had? They've had birds of prey. Oh, birds of prey is an owl, isn't it? Yeah, orcs. orcs. What is an orcs? Huh? What's an orc? What? Hawk. A hawk. Orcs I think it's an... Lord of the Rings, you <laughs> No orcs. They've had orcs, goblins. Goblins. Elves. Gremlins. I've got gremlins. They're just, oh, such a wonderful family. How did you find boot camp today, Andrew? That was my first boot camp for three weeks. First boot camp in three weeks. My first boot camp of the week, and last week I went I twice. Cass, so I think Kat wanted to like shelter me a bit. She, I, I stop being after every ten seconds. No, you did really well. Again, I was going to film us doing the boot camp, but we hadn't been in ages, and there's other people there, and I'm still used to this device that um, I don't want to just whip it out, not make other people feel uncomfortable. So I, I want to say, or at least I want to achieve each, each weekly vlog I do, that I'm more confident and like pushing myself to show you more. But you've got to persevere with these things. You've got to, come here. You've got to, again, come out of your comfort zone to, to reap the rewards and stuff. I just want to share my life and, and show my family and friends and anyone else that wants to see it. So I'm not sure whether my mum will be watching these, but maybe I'll force her to watch them. Next weekly vlog is going to be really interesting. My hair's going to be different, should I say. I'm doing really cool stuff with Helen this week. It's my sister's 30th, so I'll be filming a little bit of what's going on with her. <laughs> I'm filming for my sister that week, this weekend coming, a spin class that she's having. She's having a, a farewell spin class because she's going to Bali for six months. So I'll be filming that because she wants that done. Drinks in the evening, which I'll also film. And just a lovely weekend with my family, which I'll film. So you'll get to meet more people of my clan, of my family. <laughs> Don't expect them to be nice because they're uh, they're savage. <laughs> so, um, see you next week, I suppose. And thank you for hanging on. If you've made 
it to the end of this weekly vlog, which is my second weekly vlog. And this is showing consistency, which I'm not good at. So that's an achievement in itself. Any last words? I think so. I'm really proud of you though. Thank you. Are you excited about my hair tomorrow? I don't think he's confident in what I want to go for because no, he's I'm a boy. He's filming it. For, but it's about you being happy at the end of the day and you have been known to do some drastic things and be unhappy with the results. I'm sure. I've had, no, no, no. I've had to do Wolfpack drastic salon, things Kirsty. because of people. Kirsty. Kirsty, Wolfpack Salon. I trust her implicitly. I think she's, I think she's great from the very brief moment I met her. But there's been some hair. Very hair. I've got dodgy hair, hair history. Which has impacted on our mental health and bank health. Yes, very true. All right, well, it's bye from us. Bye from me, bye from Luna. Sweet little Angela, who ate a bit of banana this morning and is high on life. Hey!